Most recently, we've become proficient in a new technology, a technology that's advanced over the last decade uh, called transcatheter aortic valve replacement. Uh, this has been a tremendously exciting time in cardiology. Well, it's exciting technology that allows us to basically replace the aortic valve, which is the valve that's just beyond the left ventricle that pumps, pumps blood uh, through the valve up uh, into the aorta and up into the great vessels, up into the head and neck and the rest of the body. And uh, we are doing those procedures on patients that are high risk for the moment and really have no other options. And so what we're basically doing is putting in catheters that allow us to uh, get across the disease valve and using a special balloon, we're able to stretch that calcified valve out and then replace it with a valve that's basically caged in a stent. With the stent approach, the stent basically pushes the old valve up against the wall of the aorta and so there's no need to take out the old valve. It's pretty much compressed and non-functioning once the new valve, which is mounted within the stent, is in place. In this country, over the course of the last five years, we've had multiple studies that's showing for two groups of patients, patients who've had previously no alternative to therapy due to coexisting illnesses that have made them very poor surgical candidates, or a second patient group that has the option for surgery but that's very high risk for surgery. These two patient groups now are approved in the United States for transcatheter replacement of the aortic valve. And uh, these people uh, that we've done thus far have done amazingly well and uh, really have transformed you know, somebody who is extremely debilitated to be able to basically go home many times within 48 hours and uh, doing remarkably well. So it's very exciting.